I'm here with head coach Christy Martin and McKenna Schultz after a loss at home to Seattle Pacific. Coach, this is the number one defense in the conference. They held the last Anchorage only 48 points on Saturday. You're able to go out, shoot 51% from the field, score 76 points in tonight's game. What was working offensively? Um, initially, nothing. I mean, I guess in the first in the first quarter, we we did a really good job um, and and scored I think 15 points on them right away, and then they locked us down. Um, they're really good defensively. They really weren't giving us anything, and it got to the point where we couldn't really run a set. We couldn't really run um, any kind of offense to speak of, and um, the ball was staying stagnant on one side of the floor. And so, uh, really, at that point, our adjustment is we've got to we've got to lock down our own and, and really make our defense become more offense because that's when we were doing our best. And I think. Uh, when we started to do that, when we actually started to defend and take a little bit of pride in um, our own defensive end, I think then it opened a lot of things up for us on the offensive end. And talking about opening things up on the offensive end, McKenna, you had a game to remember, 33 points, 6 of 7 from beyond the arc, 9 of 10 at the line. You know, what, what was the, the feeling tonight? You know, that first time that ball goes in the basket, you know something was kind of cooking tonight? You knew you were going to go out and set a new career high? Or, you know, was it something that just evolved throughout the game? No, I just go out there and play to win. Like she said, the focus is defense. And then when our team gets rebounds and steals and stuff like that, it's easier for transition points. You know, and the, the offense, you know, kind of focused around you tonight you know how were you able to deal with you know every time you touched the ball there were two Falcons there to defend you how were you able to deal with that and kind of create some space for you I don't know I'm just playing to win honestly just going up do what I can and you know going forward you know is this kind of a confidence booster for you you know again number one defense in the league is this something you can kind of look back on and go okay I, I, I know I'm ready to, to mm -hmm. take the next step Perfect. And, and Coach, able to score 26 points in the fourth quarter, you know, really got the momentum going there in the second half. You know, how does that, how do you translate that into now a three-game road trip that the Saints won't be back home for a couple weeks? You know, how, how are you able to work with that going into this road trip? I think when, you know, losing E has created a giant hole. And one of the things that we said to them in the locker room was, Listen, we're we're gonna have these lumps, and we haven't had a lot of time to adapt. And and so at this point, we need we challenge certain people to step up. I thought Jayla Russ really stepped up. Ehe stepped up, and um, you know obviously McKenna stepped up. And and so we we're trying to figure out our identity without her now. And so at this point, it's. It's moving forward and just asking everybody to be a threat, everybody to, to do a, play a different role that they're accustomed to. And so um, if we can use that fourth quarter as kind of a push, I think we'll be okay and um, it will be fun. I mean, I thought we, we were pretty fun to watch in the, in the fourth quarter. And um, if we continue to do that, I mean, I thought McKenna did a fabulous job of creating her own shots. And that's something in women's basketball you don't see a lot of is somebody who can actually get their own shot and so she, she's very crafty she's she's teeny tiny so she gets in in the gaps and can kind of slide through people and um, very very fast and so I think she is able to create a lot of offense on her own and um, we're gonna look for her to do that a little bit more um, but also challenge her to uh, set some other people up as well uh, because she's gonna have to get used to getting two or three people on her at you know just like Sanaya does but um, I was proud of him. I, I really was. I, I thought we've hit a lot of adversity and um, losing E was uh, a big blow and we definitely uh, took some lumps today, but I thought we did a good job of sticking with it and like you said, playing 40 minutes basketball today. Well, we're excited to watch the Saints continue to grow and we'll be following you guys on the road and can't wait for you guys to get back inside Marcus Pavilion. All right. Thanks, Austin.